Hi and welcome to the Felt Hub with me, Sandy, from Lincolnshire Fen Crafts. Just thought I'd do a quick tip tutorial today on how to make needle felted horns for your animals. I've got this um, gorgeous Hebridean sheep here and I'm not a big fan of clay. I try to avoid it if I can. I always like to try and use wool. So um, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to make these horns and it's so easy to do with just a pipe cleaner, um, two different coloured wools, a size 38 star needle and your felting mat. And there's um, a few techniques I want to show you to make it a lot easier. So as you can see, these are made on a pipe cleaner. So really easy to shape and move. But also, as you'll notice here, it sits really snugly on the head with no sort of unsightly lumps or bumps. So I'll show you a really easy way to avoid that. So we'll get going. So all I've got here is um, a, I think this is about 15 centimetre cotton covered pipe cleaner. And I like to use cotton covered because the wool sticks to them really easily. So there's no need for any wax or any messy products. So that's about 15 centimetres and we're going to make both horns on one piece. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to mark a little gap in the centre here with this Sharpie or any pen you have. And that is the area where you want to avoid putting any wool because that is what we are going to sort of felt onto the head. Now if we were to fill the whole piece with wool, you'd end up with quite a lump. So that's what we want to avoid. And then making the horns on one pipe cleaner means that you've got really nice symmetry and you can um, you can really sort of get a really good balance there. So let's get started. So I'm going to use this brown Shetland wool top, but depending on what animal you're making, depends on what colour you're going to use. But this is a really nice coarse wool. And what you want to do is you want to take the wool and take a length away from that. as you can see, and then just make sure it's not too thick because we want to build it up. So we don't want it bulky to start with. We want to build it up because we can actually take it. Um, we can add more as we go, but it's more difficult to, to take it away. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start here. And then if you want, you can just twizzle the end and mat it if you find that that's uh, an easier way to get going. And just start where this where this mark is and then just keeping that wool flat turn the pipe cleaner can you see what I'm doing there I'm turning that pipe cleaner because this is going to be the thicker end so what we're going to do is we're going to have a thicker end here and we're going to take it to a point here and then just a couple of pokes with the needle now you need quite a robust needle for this I love the 38 star it's my go-to needle for everything uh, a 36 would work as well but avoid anything finer because what will happen is it will hit the pipe cleaner and it will either bend or break so I'm going to move just up the pipe cleaner now and I'm keeping that flat that's really important that you keep that wool flat because then you get a really nice, neat finish. And as you're doing it, make sure you're, you're crossing the previous turn or you know, you're working at a slightly diagonal angle because you don't want any gaps. And then just work all the way to the top and then just come slightly over the end here. And just felt that in to secure it. Just push down the side of that pipe cleaner. And then coming back down, so we're just going to leave that slightly overhanging there. That's important because we don't want any pipe cleaner showing and that end's going to be really thin. So we're just going to work back down the pipe cleaner here, turn it and find the most comfortable position for you. And if it's a little bit loose, just go back and pull it tighter and that's um i like using the wool top for this when you've got to pull really tight because um it's got longer lengths than the carded wool um but you can use carded wool just as well just make sure you keep those fingers close to the pipe cleaner 
and then just twizzle it round and then turn if you need to and just move down to here again and don't worry too much about any lines or lumps and bumps because we're actually going to put a second layer on top so we will cover all of that it's more about creating the shape but let's just get these first layers on and I've got a little bit of pipe cleaner showing there but don't worry because what we'll do is we'll roll it in our hands and that will take that over the end of the pipe cleaner and create a really nice point And then build up, really sort of focus on this area here because we want a nice, as you can see here, we've got a nice thick horn. They're quite chunky, so we want a nice build up here. So keep working around. Don't go past that area that you've marked with a pen. Keep that nice and flat. And then keep that wool flat, keep working. Up the pipe cleaner again stop shy of the top because now we want to start thinning out at the top there and then just here just so we don't lose where this end is just push through with your needle straight on horizontally nice and flat just to shape that end and then work back down the pipe cleaner again keeping it nice and flat and nice and tight and then I'm just going to use what I've got here I may or may not add some more we'll see just going to secure what I've done. And use your needle diagonally now just to tidy up and smooth that wool. Okay, now it depends on, on the size of your horns. But I'm just going to, can you see, I've just got some pipe cleaner showing here, but if we just roll it in our hands, just to smooth it out, you'll find that that just disappears. And we've got that lovely finish there. So as you can see on these, these are, are quite built up and they're a bit bigger, but I'm not going to, to build that up anymore because if you want to, depending on your project, you can do. You may want them a bit thinner. But then what I wanted to do, because um, especially with the Hebridean, it's got these sort of ridges in its horns and I wanted to create that, that nice detailed effect. And I'm going to take, this is carded wool and this is a really, this is the lightest brown. I think this is called Rabbit. But it's it's not it's more of a fawn than a brown. Um, it looks quite bright in these lights, but um, it's um, it's definitely very very light. And if you look at the Hebridean sheep, what this is doing is sort of replicating those ridges. So if you've got ridges on horns, this is a really nice way to to actually create that effect. And in fact, I'm going to just take a little bit more off. And then all I've done is I've left gaps in between. So I've just, it's almost kind of barely there, but it breaks up the horn and gives it a more realistic finish. So I'm just going to move up. the horn that we've just created here. Up to the end, there we go. And you barely, I mean, really, we're just going to tack that on. You just roll it in your hands and it will mat to the wool underneath. 
and that is is pretty much your finished horn or the the first side anyway so once you've done that now if you go to the other side and do exactly the same so here we are we've now got our set of horns ready to attach to the sheep we've got this gap in the middle which is the most important thing to remember we've got these nice symmetrical looking horns and then what you do is where that gap is as you can see this area here you pop that actually onto the head of the sheep and then you pop your wool over the top of that bare pipe cleaner area and what that effect gives is it looks like it's actually part of the sheep's head so rather than something that's just stuck on and it's just so easy to do and then you can position it to any position you want you know there's no sewing there's no um there's no gluing uh there's no faffing about and it looks really natural because you've you've made it out of wool and then of course you know you can use any color you want to suit the project you're making whether it be cows sheep or any or goats or any other animal but it's a really really easy way to create really effective looking horns that add some absolutely beautiful detail to your your animals and um, if you've got the kit for the Hebridean sheep you'll have everything in there anyway including this beautiful um, gorgeous curly wool with these sort of orangey brown highlights which are, are typical of the Hebridean sheep so I hope you enjoyed that short tutorial and um, I hope you get on really well making your horns so thanks so much for joining me don't forget to subscribe down below and um, join the felt hub for more video tutorials thanks very much